Hey guys, welcome to All Fired Up. Um, so yeah, Happy New Year's. Um, so tonight I thought we'd uh, focus on talking about one of the hammers I use. Um, so it's a plenishing hammer. So I've got three of them here. So we've got this one. Okay, so we've got a rough side. We've got a polish side. This one here is a dishing. Again, a polish side. Square one for coming up against flutes and a round side. So I mean, first of all, what is plenishing? Well, you see all the bumps on top of this. This has been a roughly dashed knee crop. So we've taken all the bumps off. I've got them nice and smooth with the dish and hammer into this dish and steak. But we're left with all these slight bumps and imperfections. Okay, so plenishing is really the secret of armoring. If you get a good plenish, then your armor's going to look really good. If you do a crappy plenish, your armor's going to look crap. So it's one of the, the, the secrets. Plenish, plenish, plenish. Once you think you've done the plenishing, plenish a bit more. So there's a couple of other things. More polished your face, the better it's going to be. Why? Real simple. Every little divot you have on your hammer is going to get transferred straight on to your piece you're working on. So less divots, less scratches, smoother it's going to be. So uh, in saying that, let's put it to action. Hammer, your stake should be nicely polished or sanded because again, it's going to transfer any of those little bumps into your um, parent material. So the parent material in this case is a knee crop. So we've got several different sizes. Um, you can even get smaller ones than this one here. You got your all terrain. And then you've got your heavy duty. So, what happens if I go bang, bang, bang really hard with a big hammer? Well, that will just lift up the material and turn it back to a flat sheet. Even though we're on a ball. Um, and that's not what we want. So, if we're sitting there with a tiny hammer smaller than this, what will happen is it, you'll just end up spending forever. So it's a real trade-off. So our goal is to hit the flat part of the steel, the flat part of your hammer, and just go... And you hear that sound? We don't want to go... We don't want to have different sounds. Hear that? That's not what we want. That's what we want. So, I like my trusty go-to hammer. This is uh, the one that I do most of my plenishing with. Okay, it's got a meat tenderizer on the back. That's not so much for um, plenishing. That's for moving masses amount of steel at once. Um, so it's really good if you've got a, a dent and you want to put texturing in it, move the steel... And then the bog will sit really nicely on it. Um, I don't bog my armour. So I don't really ever use that end. But uh, I do use this end. So again, I'm going to have it sitting on the top. Um, and I've picked this ball stake. Because that's the same curve as the sneak crop. Okay, I got a bit of a, a bigger stent there, so I can come up to the bigger hammer. And you start to see, you'll get little tiny flat spots. So it's just a matter of working those flat spots over the whole lot. And you'll end up with a nice smooth knee crop.
People will ask me, is there a faster way? Especially when I have new people in the shop and they get really bored or their hand starts to cramp up. So yeah, I've got a pneumonic plenishing hammer. So I'll set that up and we'll uh, show you what that can do. Okay, so we'll come up with this motley pattern. Okay, so we'll see around there how there is no motley pattern. I'd say that that's pretty good. This motley pattern, especially down through here, means you need to do more plenishing. I mean, the other thing is, you don't want to be whacking, whacking as hard as you can, because you'll just deform the steel. It's just lots of light little taps. So yeah, that's pretty good for me. So for the next step for this one, it's going to be, it's going to get hardened. Then we're going to um, sand it off, give it a temper. Then once we've got there, we're going to blacken it. And then we're going to put leather on it, and it's going to go off to the customer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that jazz.